Here's the situation. You're one of the passengers aboard the Titanic, which has struck an iceberg and is sinking fast. There is only enough space for one more person on the last overcrowded life raft. You have only one chance of survival. The captain is going to allow the most intelligent passenger onto the life raft. To decide who that person is, he sets a difficult multiplication problem. The passenger that solves it first will be spared from drowning in freezing water. But you have no calculator, no smartphone, no computer. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy. It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy. I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 4,437 times 631. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into four columns, because the first number, 4,437, has four digits. You also have to subdivide the box into three rows, because 631 has three digits. You end up with a box subdivided into 12 smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the 12 small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 4,437, along the top of the box. So each digit lines up with a column. Write 631 down the right-hand side of the box. So each digit lines up with a row. Now we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart. But you can't use a calculator because there were none on the Titanic. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start with 7 times 6 in the top right hand corner although you could start anywhere else if you want to. That's 42. The 4 goes above the diagonal and the 2 below. 7 times 3 is 21. The 2 goes above the diagonal and the 1 below. 7 times 1 is 7. This time 7 goes below the diagonal because it's less than 10, and you put a zero above the diagonal. Let's do the next column. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9. Don't forget to put the 9 below the diagonal and zero above. 3 times 1 is 3. On to the next column. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. The final column is the same as the one we just completed, because it's also multiplying 4 by the same set of numbers. So we can just copy our answers over. Done. That's step two. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. Finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. 
I'll circle each diagonal and show you what I mean. The first diagonal only has one number, 7. So write 7 directly below the diagonal. The next diagonal has three numbers, 1, 0 and 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. Write 4 below the diagonal. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 9 is 13, plus 4 is 17. Write the 7 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 8 is 13, plus 2 is 15, plus 4 is 19. Write the 9 below the diagonal and carry the 1 over to the next diagonal. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. Write 9 next to the diagonal. 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 7. Write 7 next to the diagonal. The final diagonal has just one number, 2. So write 2 next to the diagonal. Now we just read off the answer. 2, 7, 9, 9, 7, 4, 7. 4,437 times 631 equals 2 million 799,747. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator, but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not on board the Titanic. 4,437 times 631 equals 2 million 799,747. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the Multiplication Guy. <laughs>